Today we are going to install the onion length header on the BRZ as well as the high flow catted front pipe. Now you guys all remember Calvin. He is my Filipino tool helper installer so it's great to have one of these. I recommend you go down to Home Depot and pick one up yourself. Anyways, we've already raised the car and we have the hood up because we're coin down the engine and all that stuff and we have already have taken off the two pans underneath the car to expose the front pipe and the header. You may be asking yourself, wow, they know how to install headers and a front pipe? Nope, we don't, but we're gonna figure it out and you guys are gonna watch, so let's hope we don't screw up. Enjoy. Okay. First thing you guys need to do, remove the battery, because nothing is worse than shocking yourself to death. 10 mil, by the way. Spray all the nuts. Oh, get that all up there. Get me that grease. Grease my nuts. So after using WD-40 on all the nuts, we went ahead and disconnected the O2 sensors in the car because those are connected to the header. Now what we did, since we don't have a O2 sensor remover tool, we just unclipped the uh, lines on the engine block off and disconnected them from the wires. And then from there, when we removed the, o the header, the O2 sensors will still be attached with the wires dangling and once we get the header off, then we will remove the O2 sensors. So what we're working on now is we are going to remove the front pipe first and once we remove that, we will decide where we're going to go from there. We're not really sure the order we're doing this because there's a lot of different ways to do it. But so right now, we are going to be removing the front pipe from the overpipe. Oh. <laughs> so, we have now just disconnected the front pipe. We did that by taking this off, and then you got to take it off that hanger. And then it's connected over there down by the overpipe. So, you should be able to wiggle that out. Are you holding it? Yeah, yeah, you got it. It's all you. It's all you, baby. Um, is that a gasket up there? Um, yeah. Oh! We're replacing that, no? Yeah. So now that we have that front, that front pipe out, we now have the new front pipe under the car, and we're going to be using these new gaskets and bolts to connect the front pipe to the over pipe. That was really close to your face. So this gasket is pretty much shot and is now being replaced. You're gonna need this lovely extension for your 15 mil socket to get to the 15 mil nuts. Now we're gonna begin unbolting the header, the stock header. Okay, I think I can get it by hand now. Can you? That because it was tough, I couldn't even get it to go. Okay, that one you could do by hand. Uh, this one's on the this one's on the well, thing. You could do that one by hand. What is that anyway? Well, this you ready? It's gonna, it's, it's gonna drop any moment. Hold up, hold up. Alright, whoa, whoa, stop, stop, stop. You got it? Yeah, yeah. Watch the sensors. Oh. That's the overpipe. Yeah, it's gonna fall on my dick. Let it fall. Alright, make sure that there's no O2 sensors. I can see both. The should be good. Oh, what is like? What is this? Oh, oh, there it goes. That's all of it. That's all of it. You got it? I got it. Okay. You got it? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. You want to say something now? Oh, uh, that's heavier than I thought it'd be. <laughs> yeah. I got it. All right. Okay, okay. You're going to slide out? Wait, wait, wait. Be careful not to damage the sensor. Yeah, yeah. That's you. That's all you, baby. Okay, I got it. I got it. Oh, God. Oh, that was difficult. Okay. Let's strike the car up. That's probably not a good idea to wear a white shirt. Well, this, this is my car shirt. You're gonna get you're gonna get shit for that, TJ. I hope you know that. So, like I said before, since we didn't have an O2 sensor remover tool, uh, we left the O2 sensors in and just disconnected them from the top. So now we're gonna hose them down with WD-40 and hopefully figure out how to crack these because they were stuck from before. Oh, there we go. There we go. Did it. Don't hurt yourself. You did hurt yourself. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> oh, I'm you a boo -boo. I got a boo boo. Okay, so now we have the Tomei headers under the car, and we have O2 sensors now on the header. So we're so Calvin and I are just doing our best to wiggle this onto the uh, placements of where they sit, and then we will slowly tighten everything to the bottom of the manifold. Sick, sick beans. 
Oh, yeah, it's right. No, no, no. Up, 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 up. Ah. Yeah. So we just finished installing the headers. As you can see, nice and, nice and shiny. Now we're going to finish it off by putting the front pipe. And then we'll be done. Very tiring. We've been working on this. It started at 1.30 and it's now 5.30. It's been four hours, but um, almost done. My hands are like shaking. So, almost done. We just finally finished the whole installation from our front pipe to, is it the over pipe? No, it's the, from our front pipe to mid pipe. There's a small gap, so we're not completely sure if it's completely sealed, but uh, we'll start it up. If we don't hear any crazy exhaust leaks, then we're all good to go and we'll put the panels back. So we're just gonna start it up here and uh, see if it, everything sounds all right. So after starting the car, there's a small leak from the mid pipe and front pipe. There's nothing we can do about it now. We've already tried to mess with some of our alignments and unfortunately, there's just a slight gap and even with our gasket, it doesn't fill it. So, obviously now the car won't pass emissions, but that doesn't matter. I don't need to get it spawned for a couple months. So what I'm gonna do is in my next spare time, I'm just gonna order some more gaskets offline and put two more in there and it'll easily fill up the gap. Other than that, we're gonna put the panels back on and drop the car because as for now, there's really not much we can do. The car works fine, I haven't run any cell codes or anything, so it's all good. So let's drop the car and get some more sound clips. gonna do it for this video everything went pretty smoothly and uh, I'll have sound clips and all that type of stuff coming later but for us we're tired and I smell and my, my shirt my shirt's, shirt's ruined yeah, my shirt's have worn a jumpsuit I should have worn a jumpsuit anyway guys thanks for watching peace out yeah dude you're hiding chips in here at Del Mar got like VIP parking that's hot dude it's been a long time that's really hot I want more